What's going on guys, Tommy from Pizarro's PCs. I'm back today with another boot sale finds video. surroundings so if you follow me on social media on Facebook and Instagram you would see that I have moved my man cave man room whatever you want to call it into a, a new space within my house a bigger space as well so today I was gonna do a video on a little tour of this room which I had been meaning to do in the previous room um, but because I thought the boot sales were going to be called off, but they wasn't. I did get to two boot sales this morning. They were only probably a quarter of what they usually are. The weather's not been good the last couple of days, considering what it was like last week. And um, the grounds of where the boot sales are were very wet. Um, I did manage though to pick up a few bits and pieces. Again, um, I went to a boot sale today and I see uh, James Noble, a friend of mine, we had some good bits and pieces that I picked up some bits off him. Not that much today guys, so this video is going to be short and sweet. Unfortunately I do like doing the long 20 minute videos when I have loads of stuff to show, but that isn't the case today. So, things that I found wasn't all toy related, but let's have a look. So first of all I picked up a couple of um, unusual bits for me. Don't usually go for these sort of things, but these were pretty cool and they were, they were 50 pH, both in packaging as well. So I picked up a Casio Scientific Calculator, like I said, brand new in packet, 50p. That will go to use to someone. And then I've got a Sharp Electronic Organizer, again, 50p. I've looked online, these still sell people, there must be some sort of market for it still, I don't know. Um, I picked up this little sound blaster, Star Wars sound blaster. Again, for 50p, so it makes some noises from Star Wars. Yep, pretty cool, 50p. Then I found this, so my missus, <laughs> my missus is uh, gonna have this, so my missus has got a little shelf of her own here in this room. It's got some Care Bears, some Popples, some Keepers on it. And uh, I found this today for us. This is a 1985 Wuzzle. So the Hippopotamus version of the Wuzzle. As you guys can see as well now, I've got pretty good light, natural light that is, which is good. So, before I go on to the bits that I got off of James, the only other, found that, the only other thing I found um, away from them bits were this. I was quite surprised, but again, dealers, they're after the new stuff or they're after consoles. Um, this was just sat in a box with a load of toys and I paid £2 for this jar and we've got a big jar mixed of um, mainly monsters in my pocket. There was a couple of boglins in there as well and I think, I thought there might have been some muscle figures, some muscle men but I don't think there is. I think it is literally all mainly monsters in my pocket. So there's different colours, they've obviously got all the numbers on the back. Um, so yeah, I paid two pound for the whole jar. I thought that was a pretty good find. I had these, I had monsters in my pocket when I was a kid. So there's loads in there. There's probably like 20, 25 in there. So yeah, all them colors, pretty good find there guys. So yeah, last but not least, I picked up a little bundle of bits uh, from my friend James. He looked after me. Um, just, you know, nothing super special, but always good bits and pieces for the shows. So we've got here um, the graphic, it's like a graphic novel, it's in really, really good condition of The Hobbit. I don't know what year this came out, so I can't really see. But yeah, it's like a graphic novel comic book of J.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit. So I picked that up. Uh, also got another graphic novel here, again in really good condition. The Ultimates, Superhuman Volume 1. It's got Captain America on the front. Uh, this is really new because it's got like a voucher inside. There we go. Again, great for the shows. 
Uh, we've got the Karate Kid annual, <laughs> which uh, is a bit of a coincidence because I just finished watching Cobra Kai, the series yesterday. So yeah, this is 1987, I believe that says there. Uh, we've got this cool Count Ducula stationery set from 1989. So it's got, looks like a notebook, a pencil, a ruler, and there's well, a notebook and a scrapbook by the looks of it. So, yep. Yeah. I know there's a couple of people that will probably want that. I know a few Count Ducula fans. I've got a big fat ET from concept to classic 20th anniversary book again in really good condition 2002 there's uh, quite a few pages in there obviously all about the film just try and open it a little bit just all pictures and again loads of ET fans out there and then I got four uh, Judge, the Chronicles of Judge Dread books used up with remembered that I picked up a few of these about a month ago it might have been maybe even longer at a boot sale and uh, I've got some more again just for good for the shows Judge Dredd still popular and still sells well so yeah that was that was it guys it was it was minimal um, all in all I think I spent about uh, £16 in total not a lot uh, in comparison to what I usually spend sometimes at boot sales so I do think that I might pop down to Smith's today and pick up some of the new legacy Jurassic World figures that um, I've been looking at and wanting for a little while. So guys, yeah, that's it. So uh, I will do a tour of this room soon. It's nice to be in a nice open, bright space and there's room here now to add to my collection, which is always good. So guys, if you're watching this and you ain't subscribed, please consider to do so. Don't forget, I am on all social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All the links are below. And lastly, I just want to say a big shout out and thank you to Zombie Sailor Toys for the Beast from the East Bam Bam Bigelow t-shirt that came in the post the other day. So guys, until the next video, I'll see you then.